Hey, what's up guys? This is Gary coming back to you here from the Ramsey Custom Shop and this is a continuation of a series uh, I started a while back trying to weld up this uh, these rectangle tubing uh, stainless steel <clears throat> they're eighth inch and um, I was having issues where you know the inside welds on all of them were pretty clean you know uh, but the outsides were noticeably uh, I mean you could see this you know how uh, dark and uh, corroded that is compared to the inside and you know basically just welding the you know using the same process and the same setup to do one and then the other and get all that you know dark corrosion and you can see that I've tried different you know heat settings uh, different filler wires I mean like that one right there is where I I tried a 45 thousandths filler 045 filler uh, all the rest of them pretty much are 1 16th filler got eight 308 L and I've wiped those down good with acetone and I've cleaned the metal as well ground it clean it uh, my tungsten is sharpened and clean so I've got some coupons uh, cut out here as you saw that we did on the bandsaw and I'm gonna just try uh, some different things I've got an aluminum backing plate there that I'm gonna try to see how that goes and um, and, and but I'm gonna weld uh, first without it I'm gonna put it here and weld across there now, I might not go the full way um, and we'll just do some experimenting and see you know on those last video series and by the way if you want to see those there's a link to a playlist in the description and you'll see a link at the end as well there's three other videos where I worked on this trying to get this uh, perfected to where I could get the outside of these welds like that to look like the inside or at least closer to it also tried different cups I tried one of the big Furic cups a number 12 cup I believe it was some people suggested, you know, hey, you know, you're, you're going way too slow. Uh, I even tried um, just doing a fusion weld and just blazing over it really quickly. And that didn't seem to make a difference either. I tried, you know, some people said use a larger filler wire and that will cool the puddle, you know, and you'll get less heat buildup. I tried that. Um, really none of it made any difference. And heat settings anywhere from 50 amps to 110 amps, varying the foot pedal everywhere in between. So. Right now, I've got the pedal set on 80, and we'll just, you know, kind of go rock onto it until we start to see it uh, puddle up and fuse a little bit, and then we'll start moving ahead. So let's get some welding done now. Uh, for shielding gas, I've got I got the uh, regulator set on 25 CFH, and I've got eight seconds of post flow, and I think four or five seconds of pre flow. So uh, we'll just see what we end up with. I'm going to weld a little bit on this one. There's my tungsten stick out. I'm gonna low, I'm gonna shrink that in a little bit. Got about a, a quarter of an inch right there. We may play with that a little bit more. Some people pointed that out. Some people said my gas lens may be clogged up. So we, we can check that. I've got another one over there, brand new, and that we'll swap it out. So I'm gonna weld a little bit and then we'll stop and look at it. And then we may make a few changes and weld some more. See if any of these changes make any difference. Okay, so that's kind of what I've been getting. It's not quite as dark as I get sometimes, but it's sort of got that blackish hazed over look. And I just, I got the pedal set at 80 amps. And I just barely rock onto it just enough where it starts to fuse. And if I went with any less heat than that, the puddle wouldn't really wash itself forward. It would just want to lollygag and cause me to actually be going slower uh, what I could do and I think I'll do now is run a little bit more heat and see if I can pick up the travel speed a little bit uh, and to help to help with that I'm just gonna lay the wire in there and run over the wire so I'm gonna go a little hotter 
I'm gonna lay the wire in here like this so that I'm not taking the time to dab and move and all that and see what uh, what we get with this if I just go a little uh, a little hotter with it and faster. That actually looks worse to me. I just I just rocked on the pedal a little bit harder to get it to flow better and picked up my travel speed and just buzzed right over that filler wire. And it's got a little more uniform look to it, but it's still got the same amount of haziness to it. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna weld actually a little bit on the on the inside just to see you know what the difference is now so I'm gonna um, do that real quick so you can see if it if we get a better look in there I'll tell you what one other thing to, to try before I do that let's I'm gonna shorten my tungsten way in because I, I really don't need that much stick out for this particular thing on an outside corner joint so I'm gonna get it like It's just barely out of there. I, I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but I've got maybe an eighth of an inch of stick out. So let's see if that helps any. We'll go back to the previous method with lower heat. It may look just a little bit better, but I was having to go slow because, I don't know, it just didn't seem like it was fusing very well. It was kind of moving along slowly there, so. None of those are terrible. Let me go, uh, let me do a little bit on the inside here. I'm gonna run a little bit more stick out so I can reach down into the root now. You'll notice there, it, it definitely has a nicer, you get the more the blue colors and the gold. Now I know, I realize that the optimal color is to get that goldish, silverish look, but my skills are not quite there yet. It is kind of dirty around it there, you know, like it's, the metal's dirty, but I did clean it, so, and it's been ground. So now let's let's put it on the chill block now and see if that makes any difference on the on the top part of it. Should be able to. Uh, well, I shouldn't have welded that on the back side. Let me let me set up let me set up another piece here. I don't know if that tells us anything, but even the tacks look a little more gold looking. So let's just check my tungsten, make sure it's it's not contaminated, it's not been touched down yet. So let's just weld a little bit with it with it on there and see what we get.
Wow, that made all the difference in the world. Look at that. Even the backside, look how much, you know, there's like nothing back there. If you look at this, it's all contaminated. So, You can see how it kind of uh, nipped the corners a little bit and undercut those. I really wanted to get it to fill down in there. The first section there, I did get that going pretty well with that. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to uh, just do a little fusion weld down in there and see if I can get it to fit down in the, the joint without uh, nipping the edges. see at the very beginning here it was nipping the edges there so I starting right there I really pushed that tungsten all the way I mean like just a millimeter from touching it and ran across it and pretty much was able to hold that pretty consistently and down in here I kind of got uh, a little out with it again but you see it's hotter up here so I think we're onto something with that aluminum chill block. I mean, I know people, and I remember seeing this, Jody from Welding Tips and Tricks had a video where he, he welded up some stainless on a, doing kind of the same thing on an aluminum chill block. And, um, you know, it, it turned out nice. So uh, anyway, let me, let me do some more on it and I'll uh, get this all finished up and come back and show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, we'll wrap up this video and... Um, Really happy with this in here, all that gold. Not sure, <clears throat> not sure what happened. If it just the part heats up or or what. But you can see a lot of differences in travel speed, and you know this one here's down in there is pretty good. This one not so good. A lot of heat, a lot more heat. See the uh, heat affected zone on that one compared to that one. This one I weld standing upright. And this one I will just like it sits there. So, anyway, some good progress. Happy with that. Just got to keep working at it. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys, that's it. We'll see you next video.